one-party state. There's one other thing I'll talk about before I look at solutions, which are very simple. Very simple. And that's the microchipped population. That's the one that probably sounds most bizarre, as I said earlier. But it is so close. We're, we're already microchipping domestic animals as a matter of course. The Queen's had the corgis done. Did you see that? Last year, she's had the corgis microchipped and linked to a computer. Prince Charles, next you watch. It'll be. <laughs> sort him out. It's funny. The technique that is being used to bring in the microchip population is another major mass mind manipulating technique. I call it the stepping stones technique. And a very good example of that is the European Union and what they have in America, um, the North uh, American Free Trade Agreement, which is a free trade area, which is where the European Union started out, if you recall, and also what's happening in another free trade area in the Pacific Australia area known as APEC. The idea is to have the world government, and the bank and all the rest of it, and the next stage down from that will be the European Union, the American Union, which will be this North American free trade area, right the way through the Americas from North to South America, in the, an, an American version of the European Union, and a Pacific version of it. They will be the three next stages down from the world government. And the stepping stones technique is how they're being introduced. If you take the European Union, if you started out at the end of the last war, and what we're heading to now had been suggested, one bank, one currency, centralized control of a super state, understandably, I know what my father was, would have said who fought in that war, excuse me a minute, can I just have a quick word here? We've just spent the last five years with 55 million people killed and uh, many more severely injured to stop that happening. And you're asking us to do it without a bullet being fired. You must be joking. Go and have a cup of tea. So what the stepping stones technique does, although it knows where it's heading, it does it in stages. It gets away with what it can get away with, first of all, and then starts to move it along and it presents every step as independent of all the others so you don't see the pattern. So what was suggested after the last war? Not a European super state, because that had no chance at that time. It was the common market. Just a free trade area, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing to worry about. And by the way, if we don't join, we starve. Little problem right there, you know. <laughs> well, we'd better join then, I guess, you know. <coughs> so, suddenly, some of the states of Europe start to fuse their economies together in a free trade area. Now we're in the web because it's uh, suggested very strongly that if anyone pulls out, there will be a co economic chaos, certainly in the short term. So now we're in the spider's web. So the process then starts of evolving a free trade area into a European centralized superstate. And First, we ha start having commissions which start dictating to nation states. Then we have um, talk about uh, the central bank. And w interestingly, you know, one of the things that was put forward uh, to justify the one currency was the currency chaos in Europe. Like when the pound fell out of the European monetary system after the government had spent a colossal fortune trying to keep it in there a few years ago. Well, you know, this currency chaos, one, one currency would sort this problem. Interesting, therefore, that the person who attacked the pound and caused that chaos was a frontman for the House of Rothschild called George Soros, a world currency speculator, George Soros Bilderberg Group. The chancellor at the time who spent all that money and eventually pulled the pound out of the monetary system of Europe was Norman Lamont, Bilderberg Group. Now, when I was talking in Sweden just a few weeks ago, I was talking about this and some member of the, uh, the audience in Sweden came up and said, 
I couldn't believe it when you mentioned that guy, George Soros. He said, what happened in Sweden, he said, was um, before we went into the European community, um, all the opinion polls were very strongly against going in. He said, then this guy, George Soros, Bilderberg Group, started attacking the Swedish currency. The Swedish government tried to defend the currency under the prime ministership of Carl Bildt, Bilderberg Group, and eventually chaos ensued. And a great fear started to go into the Swedish psyche of, oh my goodness, we need protection. What's going on here? We can't stand alone. Even speculators are taking our currency apart. After that, the opinion polls for going into the European community flipped to the majority saying yes, and in they went. So now, stepping stones, we're now in a situation where we are light years away from what we actually joined. stepping stones. Only now are some people saying, excuse me, have you seen how far we've come? It's interesting that um, right along the line, as the stepping stones uh, are put forward, anyone who uh, uh, challenges the stepping stones is then um, manipulated into continuing the journey. I was speaking in Denmark um, at the time I was uh, in the Swedish area also, and what they did was had a referendum which voted against Maastricht, against the European Union. They then had another referendum 